Hi guys, I've had a couple of questions about whether adding magnets to the outside of an electric motor will increase its power. Now, I've taken this one apart, I don't know if it will show in the video, but it's got two magnets inside, inside a metal case, and that's the armature with the coils of wire on it, and the commutator that connects the power to the coils, and then inside here that's the two brushes that make contact with the commutator. Got a bit of grease on there as well. What I'm having trouble doing though is demonstrating where north and south is on these magnets. Because if I try and put a nice powerful little neodymium magnet anywhere near it, it's attracted to the metal case and it really doesn't matter where I put it it's attracted all the way round so I can't definitely prove where north and south is got the block of wood got the electric motor we got the fan blade uh, I've got some blue tack on the bottom of the blocks of wood to hold them still on top of the scales and it's currently reading 124 grams. So start the motor goes up to 127 so that's given us 3 grams of thrust. If we try one of the neodymium magnets We've increased the weight to 129. And we go up to 132. So again, that's about 3 grams of thrust. I'll just turn that magnet round in case it makes any difference the other way round. Hundred and thirty two, so that made no real difference. It added some weight, but we only got three grams of thrust. <coughs> I've got some some different magnets here. Uh, are they called ferrite? I can't remember. Let's try them. So hundred and twenty six grams. If we're generous, we say it went up to 129. So, no difference. 3 grams of thrust. Um, what else can we try? I could try two neodymium magnets. If I can get them apart. <laughs> One on each side. We've gone up to 135 grams in weight. Well, how does that work? Actually, went less thrust. making it go in the other direction by any chance is it? That's turning that way now. Whereas without the magnets it's turning the other way. So those magnets were making it go in the opposite direction. They were so powerful they were overriding the magnets that were in the motor. Ah! So I've turned them around going the other way now. 135. 140. 
So that's given us 5 grams of extra. So that's an extra 2 grams. I'll just turn them around, try and... Right, that's the wrong way. Turn that back the other way. Yeah, that's definitely helping. Just turn the other one the other way round. No, it doesn't like that. So we've got to get them the right way round. So we've added weight significantly, but we have increased the thrust. And those magnets are so powerful they completely override the magnets that are in there. If I put them on the opposite way round, the motor actually turns the opposite way. If I turn that one round and that one round. Yes, they're completely overriding the magnets that are in the motor. I've reversed the polarity and now the motor's turning the opposite way and it's actually trying to lift rather than push. And it goes 135 to 132. So it's actually lifting with 3 grams of lift thrust. So yes, Putting magnets on the outside does increase the thrust if you get the if you get it right. So 135, 140. Five grams of thrust compared to three grams without the magnets. But without the magnets it's only 126 grams, 125 grams. And it's given us 3 grams of thrust. Hope that helps. So yes, adding magnets does give us more thrust. But it's not given us enough thrust to compensate for the weight of the magnets. Hope that helps. I've now doubled the neodymium magnets on each side, so we're now weighing 145 grams. And we're going up to 152, so that's about 7 grams of thrust. In fact, if I just zero this... zero. Yep, seven grams of thrust. Just the two neodymium magnets. Six grams of thrust. So we don't gain a great deal by doubling the number of neodymium magnets.